Uh, how, how did you feel like it went today for you guys, second team O-line? Um, I think it went really well. You know, on the right side, it's uh, me and Chance, and we're both still figuring it out. But um, we both, you know, we come every day. We're both guys that like to finish people and uh, play, play with a little nasty attitude. But, um, you know, we're learning. We're kind of learning as we go, and we just got to remember, you know, we're, we're early guys. We should be in high school right now. And uh, if we mess up, we just got to forget about it and keep playing. That's what Coach Mahoney says, you know, if you mess up, don't know what you're doing, we'll go hit somebody going 100% or something. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're, we're cutting down on mistakes, you know. We're not getting really many MAs as we as the first couple practices. And, uh, you know, it, it's been really fun to kind of grow with him and, you know, lock down that right side. When did you make the decision to early enroll? How far back? Uh, you know, I probably started thinking about it last year during the springtime. And um, it was kind of like, I don't know, well, should I do it? Should I not do it? I'm going to, should I enjoy my last semester of high school? And then as the summer approached, I was like, well, I'm going to take these summer classes so I can be in the position. And by the fall, I was like, I'm ready to do it. it, it it's something I need to do. And um, so that, that was kind of the final decision by the fall. And uh, I'm, I'm really glad I did it because I know if I was sitting at home watching this stuff, I, I would be mad that I didn't, so I'm glad I'm up here. Do you notice a difference from last Saturday to this Saturday? I do, I do. With every um, practice, I'm feeling like um, I'm improving a little bit and I'm kind of taking steps uh, forward. So uh, I, I saw, and I think I'll see on film later, that um, I've improved uh, a little bit. And uh, it, it's just a, every practice, you got to find something, work on it, and get better at it and keep going and be able to see that complete transformation from you know the first practice to the uh, spring game. Is this whole spring practice been or early enrolling? Has it been about what you expected, or have there been some real surprises, eye openers? Well, you know, I, I got here and I thought for me the hardest part would be uh, the class uh, going to cl going to the classes and um, you're in college courses, so it'd be yeah. a little more difficult. And that is the exact opposite. The hardest part is definitely the football, and um, it's just a, a physical grind and a mental grind. But um, you know, I've learned uh, to embrace it, and it's, I'm really enjoying it, honestly. And it's, um, I'm starting to fall more and more in love with the game. I'm wanting to watch film all the time, and um, you know, so I, it was, it was a little um, more than what I expected. But it, I was, I was prepared well for it, and uh, I'm glad I did it. When you say you were prepared well for it, you know, how, how did you get prepared for it? Um, you know, I had a, a good high school coaches, a good high school strength coach, and um, you know, in the summer, I had tutors coming over to help me with. Um, um, schoolwork that, and stuff I needed help on because I was taking all these classes on my own. And, um, you know, I, I had all the right people behind me. I had a good um, family behind me and supporting me. And uh, the coaches up here, you know, they were getting me prepared. So really, you know, everyone was giving me their full support. And um, like I said, great decision. I'm so glad I did it. What's been the biggest adjustment for you football-wise? Um, you know, probably just the uh, speed is uh, the biggest, you know, just how fast we play and the tempo. And you're having to think of all your uh, assignments and making calls in a shorter time than I did in high school. So, you know, that's probably the biggest thing. And, you know, for me, coming up early, another thing was getting a lot stronger. And I can definitely tell that already by, and especially after summer, I think I'll see a big improvements in the weight room like I already have. So, um, yeah, but definitely it's probably just the tempo of everything. It, it's a faster game, which I expected and I was ready for. So um, it, it's still it's still every week I'm getting better and better. And I'm, I'm getting all my assignments down and I'm just able to just go out there and play. That's my main thing. I just want to be able to go out there and just play. How do you feel your footwork is at this point? Um, I feel like it's really good. You know, uh, Coach Mahoney uses the phrase tap, tap dancing on a landmine sometimes for me. But, uh, you know, I think that's one of my stronger uh, capabilities. And like I said, when the strength comes on with that, um, as I keep progressing in the weight room, and um, I'm going I'm to feel even better about my game. Jack, how, from practice one now to, to practice nine, how much quicker do you feel like you're just reacting? Up? Oh, it, it's it's crazy, you know. I'm the practice one, and really practice three when we got into pads. Um, it was just like I was some, I was thinking, I was panicking. I was like asking the guard sometimes, like, what do we got? And then after about practice three, they moved Chance into right guard. So I was like, dude, we gotta learn this because I can't ask you anything, and you can't ask me because we barely know our own stuff. So we we learned it, and um, you know, Chance is still a great help though. He's really smart too. So. Um, I feel like I, I, I'm playing, just going out there and playing now. And at first, that was a little bit of kind of like I would hesitate, think I was doing the wrong thing, and just trying to be perfect and everything. But I think I just go out there and uh, play my game, and it, it, I play my best ball.
Jack, how, I guess, different is it from a technical level? Obviously, in high school, you're probably bigger and stronger than a lot of guys you went up against. Mm -hmm. uh, how much does the, the technique and some of the small details make a bigger difference here at this level? You oh, it, it, it's, it's a big difference. You know, you can't, you know, I got to work on always working on pad level, getting lower, and um, always working on technique because to play early in the SEC, you're not going to be as strong as those guys. You got to be a technician. And, um, that's one of the things I pride myself on is uh, my technique. So uh, definitely a big thing. And in high school, I was always uh, working on my technique, and I, I was able to uh, progress my game in high school as well. So that's always been an important factor for me. I've never been at somebody that just tries to sit there and muscle you. I'm trying to get my feet down and um, get good leverage on you. Is, is there an upperclassman or veteran that's been kind of a mentor or leader or anything for you? <laughs> all, of, all of them really have. Um, you know, they, they, do a, they do a great job of uh, – you know, taking us all in. I got it's like they're all my older brothers are watching out for me. So um, yeah, that little line room up there is, is a family, and we come every day to work. And um, they, they're always you know helping me improve my game and telling me what I need to be doing better. Or and a lot of times it's just them telling me something good I did because you know you, a lot of times you hear the negative, you hear this and that, and, the, and then uh, maybe Jay Sean will come up and be like, hey, that was good step right there, good job, good do spot. So really, they do a good job of that, and um, we're always chilling together. They're a great group of guys. Which last one? Have you had one really memorable block from the spring where you, you really gotten somebody good at all? Um, I'd say my first, my first circle of life, because I knew it was coming. I knew it was, I knew I was going to get in there, and I, I was I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous, and I, I had an idea who they're gonna put me in there with, and they put me in there, and uh, I did really well, put them out of circle. So, shy. no, it wasn't shy. It was uh. It was Busher. He's my roommate, so we were <laughs> we were already talking and stuff. But it was I was glad that we got to do that. But uh, yeah, Shaw was memorable too. You know, we've been going at it in the circle, yeah. and it's been pretty even. So uh, every time I try to get an upper hand on him.